Oh my god. Hi guys, so I know this video is super super long, so I put timestamps at the description box. So if you want to check that out and not just watch the entire video because it's like 30 minutes, please feel free to do so. Okay, bye. Love you all. I'm freaking out. This is the most clutch moment of my entire life. I'm freaking out. I'm here and I have a lot of explaining to do at the end of the video. But basically, I'm watching the Lottie family concert. And I'm here in Jamshil Stadium, Seoul Olympic Stadium. And this has been the most clutch thing ever, ever. Literally, I was at work at 4 p.m. today, and then now it's 7 and now I'm here. I didn't even know I was watching today. There was no clue. I was this is crazy, and we're about to go in, and I'm just shaking, and I'm alone.
be the cards up.
Hey guys, so um, as you saw in the video, I wasn't able to film much of an intro. Please ignore the mess, I'm just... Focus on us. Everything was such a rush. Um, I was at work at 4 p.m. Then I was at the concert venue by 6. And the concert started at 6. So that was crazy. The Lotte Family concert was last June 22nd to the 23rd. So there were two days. The first day, um, the lineup was, as you saw, Blackpink, which you didn't see because I wasn't able to film. Um, Blackpink, B1A4, Sunmi, Kim Bom Su, B2B, B2B, am I missing anyone? And Bang Tan. And the original plan was I wasn't going to the Latte Family concert because prior to going to Seoul, I already knew about the Latte Family concert and I was actually planning to watch that. But then I remembered BTS Festa, June 13. Okay, I won't go to the Latte Family concert. I'll go to the BTS Festa because that's my priority. Then, on the day that they sold tickets for Festa, it was sold out. Round of tickets, even if my Wi-Fi was super fast, Koreans are faster. Long story short, I was bummed. I didn't get to go to Festa. The day of the 22nd, I was scrolling through my time I was at work. This was a Friday. So I was going through the replies and I, then I saw Latte Family Concert VIP tickets for sale. So it was in Korean, of course, but then I'm, I can read Korean. So I was like, Huh. For sale. I turned to my friends and I was like, guys, you think I should go? It's at six and it's four. And of course, my friends, being the super enablers that they are, said, Fifi, it's almost your birthday. Treat yourself. Before I left for work, I DM'd the person, but then she wasn't replying. So I just thought I'd go to the venue check out for people who are reselling in the venue because usually that happens and just you know just try out my luck i mean if i don't get any tickets i can just go home i mean it's just a few stations away from me so i clocked off work and while i was at the subway i was already messaging different people because i was looking at different tags to see if other people were selling so i was able to find another seller who was actually replying to me and i met her at a certain exit of the station bought the ticket boom i can't even describe that concert experience. It was such a beautiful, beautiful experience being able to see all these different big artists in their homeland and performing for their people. I mean, as much as they love, um, as much as that all these artists go on tour, you know, visit different countries, it's different when they perform for their country. They feel so at home, they can speak their own language. It's just great. Even if you're someone who won't understand um, most of the things they say because you don't speak Korean or you don't understand Korean, just the experience. I mean, you don't even have to understand them to feel what they're saying. Like, do you get me? Do you understand what I'm saying? And then I got to spend my money on this and this. It was, it was the best. Sunmi was a dream. She looked like a goddess. She looks like an angel from heaven. B2B? B2B? Kim Bumsu? Kim Bumsu? Well then, I mean... Tired, guys. Tired. This is the second time I saw them live. I saw them when they went to Manila for the Wings tour. And you're, if you're a Filipino army, comment down below. I just started crying when they came out. Of course, when they came out, um, the first time was Fake Love. And my camera started doing this weird focusy thing, so I didn't get to film the beginning of Fake Love. Spring Day came on and... And it wasn't even the normal spring day version. It was the rock version. Literally when... My tears started falling and just... It wasn't just me. 
like a lot of other people were crying with me and not even just not just armies like a lot of I, there were a lot of I had a lot of melody friends around me holding their melody light sticks and they were all like tearing up I could hear like <gasps> like sobs when that ooh came collectively and I was just like it was just This video is probably like 45 minutes long <laughs> If you are in Korea or if you're going to Korea and you're a K-pop fan Please try to get into some concerts because it's so worth it And it's way cheaper than a VIP ticket you'll be paying for here in the Philippines For the Wings Tour ticket that I got here in Manila With soundcheck privileges of course but other than that VIP ticket here in Manila is probably ranging around 13 to 15k. I remember Wings was 15k. Korea, guys, this is what you're gonna pay for. Legit. Dapat sulitin yun na pag nasa Korea kayo. And if you're worried about buying tickets, um, I suggest you just go for it. Most concerts sell their tickets through Interpark or Melon tickets. Interpark always has a global website. Melon is the one you should be worried about because you need all that. ID yada 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 so you have to study on that but mostly they use Interpark and there's a global website for Interpark so you don't need to worry about that all you need to worry about when buying tickets online is just having quick hands and being fast unlike me when I didn't get tickets for Festa even if you don't get tickets just still go to the concert venue on the day like I did and just stand there and look for people who are reselling because there are some people who sell their tickets because they won't be able to go or they're gonna miss it or whatever for whatever reason yeah just just give it a try and yes that concludes my story time for today uh, there will be a couple more videos uploaded um this is a korea vlog series so i was there for quite a while i was there for two months the battery just died so i'm using my phone but yeah um, like I said, we'll be back to some regular programming after a couple of curry of vlogs. That's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for swimming by my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye! Mwah.